Hello and welcome to a presentation by Swoosh Technology and Solutions. This presentation will be a CAM presentation in fixed axis milling about a new option that may have snuck past you. Uh, it did me for a while and it's in the floor and wall operation and we'll review a kind of a normal floor and wall path and then I'll show you the the option that came in. So I have a floor and wall path already generated here. I'll open and edit the dialog. And do a verify, a 3D verify on it. Now this part is being cut all the way through, so the slug in the middle is intended to be removed. And if I roll this view a little further, you can see that indeed it was cut through. But what I'd like you to notice uh, when I OK this dialog, let me move it up here a bit, OK, and look at the path again is all of the individual engage moves that it made going down the wall. Okay, and that's what we're going to look at changing in the, the new option. So in NX11, in the, the area of levels, this is a brand new setting. And if I drop this down, you have levels of ramp by depth and ramp by angle. Both of these options will give you um, a helical motion cutting down the wall without multiple engages. Okay. These are only available in the profile option. So that's one thing to note. And we'll just start by turning them on. I'll say ramp by depth. And you specify then the uh, depth per cut. I've got a quarter of an inch specified. Um, cutting with a half inch tool, I know that's a bit much. But for demonstration purposes, I don't want the tool path to run and run and run. So let's just generate it with that simple change. And you can see already that there is now only one engage, and it's spiraling along the wall. Maybe a better way to look at that would be in a clipped section. And turn the view so you can see the angle or the ramping that's happening. Okay, It's going all the way to the floor. Turn the clip back off. And whether it does a finished floor pass or not is controlled in the cutting moves. So if you go to your cutting parameters and this section, this profile ramping is new and you can say that you want to add a cleanup pass or not. Now let me rerun this once more without cleanup pass turned on um, and look at the IPW that's produced from the run and clip through it so you can see what I mean. You might be able to tell that's ramping down. As soon as it finishes here, I'll clip the section. And you can see the discrepancy in the, that the floor hasn't been cleaned up. This is cut all the way down to the point of breaking out. And uh, elsewhere, it uh, has stock left on it. So it cut down to the floor and then just stopped the cut. The maximum material that would be left here is my depth of cut or depth per cut, which was a quarter of an inch. So there'd be a quarter of an inch of material. Um, by going into 
the cutting parameters and taking the option of doing a cleanup pass, add a cleanup pass, okay, and I'll say okay, turn my clip off, can't my view a little bit and generate. So most of the path looks the same, except you might be able to tell there's a extra, I'm sorry, don't mean to make people dizzy. There's an extra path around the bottom, and that is the cleanup path. It'll be more visible if I do a verify. Okay, and I'll clip that. And now you can see it's cut all the way through and left this slug of material to fall out. Okay, very nice continuous path as it went around. I'll okay the dialog and we'll look at the other option. Uh, the other choice you have is ramp by angle. Uh, in this, you're not going to give it a specific depth. You're going to tell it the sloping or ramping angle that you want to use. So I'll choose ramp by angle. My step down changes uh, to, I'm sorry, ramp angle. I was in the wrong place. Right now I have it set to two degrees and we'll give that a try. Generate. And I could replay this, but you can see it gives you virtually the same motion, but here we're saying we're more concerned about what that angle is on the wall than the depth per cut. Okay. My blank material is exactly the same height as this part. If I want to give it a little bit of clearance, I can go back into the cutting moves. Sorry. Jump in here. Didn't mean to escape going back into my cutting parameters. And in the same section, there is a top offset. You put a value in here, like 0.1. This is an inch part. And I generate it. It should have the effect of starting the cut 0.1 above the top of the part. Other than that, the motion is the same. So I think that pretty much explains that uh, new choice. Just in recap, uh, we're in floor and wall. We're in the profile path operations, the only one that has this new choice. And we're looking at the cut depth by levels is the default. And if you, if you never went poking around on it, that's what it always used to be prior to NX11. And you may not have ever dropped that down to see, you know, you've got these new options. Um, also, when you choose one of those, you go to cutting parameters. You have a similar new option in strategy. This profile ramping section is new where you can enter a top offset if you want the tool to engage above the part and if you want cleanup pass or not. Okay, that's all for this brief blog. Hope it helps and thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye.